Cap. All right. Well, here's what we have tonight. Democrats working hard tonight to stop the release of a controversial memo reportedly outlining abuse of our nation's spy program. That release could come at any moment. Ed Henry's following the latest amid new calls for the removal of House Intelligence Chairman Republican Devin Nunes. We'll have fresh reaction from Deputy White House Press Secretary Hogan Gidley, and Steyerwalt is ready to weigh in. Plus, we'll dig deeper with former federal agents Derek Maltz and Dan Bongino into reaction from inside the FBI to the memo that's sending shockwaves across the country. Former FBI Director James Comey tweeting out tonight his support for the FBI for, quote, speaking out. And he's also invoking Joe McCarthy in the process. So how is the memo drama playing out within the FBI? As you can see here, one of my next guests is well acquainted with the former FBI director. Derek Maltz is a former DOJ official who oversaw special operations for the DEA. And Dan Mangino is a former Secret Service agent, a former NYPD officer. Gentlemen, welcome to both of you. Thank you, Shannon. Be here. Great to have you with us. Um, I want to read something that came from the FBI Association, Agents Association today, saying that they appreciate FBI Director Chris Wray standing shoulder to shoulder with the men and women of the FBI as we work together to protect our country from criminal and national security threats. Special agents take a solemn oath to our country and to the Constitution, and the American public continues to be well served by the world's preeminent law enforcement agency. Um, Dan, how careful do we have to be to make sure that uh, even in covering these things, that it's not decimating morale? We have to be very careful. I mean, the men and women of the FBI that I worked with during my time in the Secret Service are the finest people I have ever worked with, Shannon. I say that with no reservation. And my hat's off to all of you doing great work out there keeping bank robbers, uh, you know, computer criminals off the street. But let's be clear, Shannon, about what happened here. A select group of upper level managers at the FBI violated protocols to spy on the Trump team. Keep in mind, the spying on of the Trump team is not in dispute, Shannon. It's only the method by which it happened that is still in dispute that may be cleared up tomorrow by the memo. But what they did in our name, the American people, uh, a lot of the FBI agents I know are ashamed of it. I have a really good contact on this as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Derek, you're hearing from folks too. What are you hearing about how they feel? Yeah, I have a long history with the FBI. When I was the head of the Special Operations Division, my deputy was an FBI agent. I had counterterrorism folks. And the morale is hurting right now. They're very embarrassed. I mean, look at the seal of the FBI. Fidelity, bravery, integrity. Integrity is a big part of their culture, their history. They're very proud. So for the upper management of the FBI to breach that trust, right, and to actually conduct themselves in such an unprofessional manner, I mean, there's no place for that in the FBI. And it's really, really a shame. But you know what? They're very excited with the naming of the new uh, you know, acting deputy, David Bow. Ditch. Mm -hmm. He's a career success story. He's worked criminal investigations. He's got the respect of the troops, not just in the FBI, but all the other agencies. He ran a gang task force out in California with multiple agencies taking down Hells Angels, the Bloods, the Crips. Mm -hmm. So the guy has earned his stripes, as we say, in law enforcement. And that'll, that'll definitely, uh, as you said, be an encouragement to the people exactly. you're talking with and that are happy about him coming. I want to read something from a former special agent, Ali Sufan, uh, in the Daily Beast today saying this over the release of the memo and everything that's going on. Many honorable men and women should be prepared to resign, to walk out over this. Dan, what do you make of that? Shannon, a candidate for president of the United States was spied on. Do the American people understand what happened here? Now listen, to be clear on this, to spy on people using law enforcement is not illegal. It is illegal, however, to spy on people illegally. You have to get a warrant producing probable cause in a criminal case, or you have to get a warrant in an intelligence case through the FISA courts that there's probable cause someone is acting as a foreign agent in violation of US law. Shannon, I'm asking the question of the audience. Where's the probable cause? Produce for me a scintilla of evidence that either one of those two things happened, that a crime was committed or that someone on the Trump team was acting as a foreign agent in violation of U.S. law while on the Trump team and advising Trump. You can't because it didn't happen and the public is entitled to know. We do still live in a constitutional republic. We do. We're just about out of uh, time, Derek, but I want to ask you, do you think that the release of the memo will help or hurt uh, the restoration of uh, Americans' confidence in the FBI? From my perspective, the public deserves full accountability, full transparency, and the government has to produce these type of documents so they can make their own decision in the public. I don't know what the memo says, I don't know what's gonna be released, but I believe regardless of what the details are, the public deserves the truth.
All right. Well, wait, maybe tomorrow morning, as early as then, we will see. Uh, Derek and Dan, thank you both very much for staying with us and your service to the country as well. Thank you. Thanks a lot.